Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome into another guide for Anno 1800. So, something I have noticed that is not common knowledge amongst players, uh, especially newer players and even a lot of veteran players that I know about, uh, is how to figure out how many goods you need to be transporting between your islands or between regions. It's a very common question. Hey, I'm producing rum on this island. I need to know how much I'm supposed to be transporting to my other island in the old world, I keep running out of rum. Well, it's actually really, really easy. What you want to do is go into your statistics screen and then go to the storage tab right here. Under the storage tab, look at the trade routes and you'll see these are all, these are your trade routes that are going to that particular island. I have a soap route that is going between this island and Eli and I have a route bringing rum from the New World over here. As you can see, I'm bringing 100 tons of rum per trip. And over here is how often that trade route is happening. So this clipper is bringing 100 tons of rum every roughly 20 minutes. That's how often this trade route is running, is every 20 minutes. So with that in mind, let's figure this out. What you want to do is go under your production and look and see for consumer goods, how much rum you're consuming. I'm consuming three tons of rum. What this is, is this is three tons of rum per minute. Now, here's a little trick. Round that up to four. This number is not always accurate, like just a plain three. It could be 3.2, could be 3.6. Um, it could honestly actually be like 2.8 or something. It might not just be like exactly three. So what I like to do is round up to the next whole number, which is going to be four. So what I want to do then is take that number, the four, and multiply that by the amount of time that it takes for that trade route to come, which again is about 20, 21 minutes. Okay, so we're going to multiply that four times 21 which is going to give me, um, you know, math, 84. Oh, math escaped me all of a sudden. If I do 4 times 21, that gives me 84. That is how much rum I need to be bringing every 20 minutes. As you can see, I'm bringing 100, so I am bringing enough rum. If that number goes over 100, then I need to be bringing more rum. Of course, a clipper can hold up to 200, so I am safe using a single clipper on this route until I need more than 200 tons of rum on a single trip, okay? Now, there's a few things you also need to know about that, and that is storage space. If I need 84 tons of rum, then I need to be able to hold 84 tons of rum. You start with only being able to hold 75. To get more storage space, you build depots, and you can also upgrade your uh, trading post to get a little more storage space. You also need to do that in the uh, on the other island, whatever region that's in. It could be the New World Island, islands in other regions, wherever. You also need to make sure you have that same amount of storage. As you can see right here, I have a storage capacity of 175, so I have enough storage to last me. Again, keep your storages in mind as well as how much you are transporting on the route. Now, there are things you can do to help uh, be able to make sure you're transporting enough back and forth. Using items such as cargo slowdown. Those are your most important items early game is the cargo slowdown items. There is a really, really good one that you can get as long as you have Eli in your game. If we go into the items tab of the statistics screen, uh, you can click all islands. You don't have to and go under here. And then if we look for cargo slowdown, this guy right here, the port dealer, he increases movement speed by 10% and has a cargo slowdown of 60%. Cargo slowdown is probably one of your most powerful um ship abilities in the early parts of the game until you can get access to things like the controllable pitch propeller, which is um, available later on once you have steamships and you can put that in there. Uh, you could also get the fore and aft rigging sail. It does a little, it does 5% more movement speed, 
um, a little less cargo slowdown. The reason I favor the port dealer over the fore and aft rigging sale is this is much, much cheaper. Fore and aft rigging costs about 274,000 coins, whereas the port dealer is only about 90,000 coins. Uh, the Latin sale, don't even, don't even worry, bother with it. It's, it's terrible compared to the port dealer. Uh, the same thing with the one turn screw propeller, not worth it. Early game until you can get access to things like maybe the controllable pitch propeller, or you can craft the jet propeller hurricane from Nate in the uh, Cape Trelawney region, uh, or you can get things like uh, her, the purveyor of tall ships. Things like that are really, really good. Uh, Itsuko is also really good. However, she does not come with the um, a movement speed increase. So she's good, but I do like the port dealer because again, cheap has has two good stats on it and easy to find at Eli's Harbor once you start having ships. The cargo slowdown is much, much better than movement speed. You can have a high movement speed, but if your ship is completely loaded down with cargo, it's going to decrease the speed of it overall. Having cargo slowdown will make it uh, negate that cargo effect on it and make it move faster. So between... Making sure you have enough goods going back and forth with your clipper and using cargo slowdown items. You're going to be able to move the amount of goods you need back and forth between islands and between regions so you do not run out of stuff. So just keep an eye on your production statistics screen right here to make sure you're always producing enough. Um, you know, you always got to make sure you're producing enough rum. As you can see, I'm producing four tons of rum per minute and I'm consuming six tons of rum per minute. So I'm producing enough. And I am moving enough back and forth, uh, according to my calculations right there, using this the uh, trade route screen and how much I'm consuming on my main island. So that's it, guys. That is just a short, quick, very helpful tip, I think, for a lot of people. It has been a question I see come up all the time is how do I know how much I need to move between islands and it's right here the information is available to you in the game all you got to do is punch it into a calculator and make sure you're doing it right I hope this helped a little bit and I hope it helps you be able to balance your goods moving between regions if it did let me know down below I would love to know if this tip right here was something you did not know about and it's something that helped you with that guys thank you so much and I will see you in the next video until then take care Thank you.